Brock Parker, super duper overtime win again tonight. What's what's the mentality, man? You're winning a lot of overtime matches. You said that was the fourth of the year. Yeah. Which is kind of a lot, but what's going on, man? You you never come out of position. Uh, what's changed? You know, what are you doing? What are you going to do to to win these close matches? And what are you doing to win these close matches? Um, a lot of it is, you know, coaches are trying to get me to come out of my show a little bit, start working more. You know, it's just a comfort thing right now. That's why I'm having a hard time. I'm having a hard time opening up right now. Been off the mat for a year. So I'm trying to get everything back to how it was. And, uh, you know, coach has been working with me and, you know, and they push me in practice real hard. You know, I've been pushing myself. Because at the beginning of the year, I started, you know, I, I didn't, I couldn't go the whole match. And now, now I mean, I obviously can. I've won four matches in overtime, double overtime against real quality kids like the kid tonight. So, I mean, I can go that distance. So now it's just me opening up myself and, you know, just working more. I always, you know, coach preach good position all the time, hands out, you know, so that's just something that comes with repetition and that's what we do in the room every day. Okay, you got that crazy, I don't even know what it is, it's like a front headlock where the dude has a collar tie on you. What What's going on? Where are you learning that? Um, that's kind of, you know, I hit it in practice a lot. Um, it was a little harder tonight to hit it because, I mean, we... We were going at it pretty good, and I couldn't I couldn't keep a hold of him like I usually can in practice, you know. But you know, I just I just work it like he if he, I mean he works. I, I kind of make him feel comfortable, and then I just get to my front headlock. I like I work I like working from there the best, you know. I feel more comfortable, it's safe, you know. You can relax a little bit, you can work more, and you know you can punish people more, and that's where I, I move the best too. So I, I like to work from there. And any way I can get there, I'll get there. You and I talked five weeks ago. What have you done to get better from P. Saxton now? Um, right now, I, I just been working on my conditioning. You know, I was off the mat for a few weeks before Penn State, and I I didn't have my wind against anybody for for a couple weeks. Even the Millersville guys, like I I didn't get my wind back, and then tonight I got my wind. You know, I've just been forcing myself to to get back in it, to to get in better shape because that's what's been holding me back a lot. And now that I've gotten to the point where I can wrestle wrestle hard for eight or nine minutes because, I mean, I go into overtime, it seems like, every day. <laughs> so, I mean, you just, you know, we work in the room about working in overtime, you know. Coach kind of makes you think you're going seven minutes and then he makes you go ten, you know. so. It's just one of those things. Like you know, you're, you've been there. You just do it, and hopefully you come out on top. All right. What's your favorite thing about the new coaching staff? Lackey, Coach Ware, and Coach Armstrong. Uh, Armstrong? Yeah, he's working with the uh, Matt Town Club now. Really? So, like he he comes in every now and again. We we have some guys working with him. Lighter kid. He's he's lighter guy. He's real good. Real fast. Real fast. Real fast? Yeah. Can you see him? Yeah, I I, wor I actually drilled with him the other day. You gotta have your hands on him to yeah. have a feel. Yeah, he does. He's he's hard to wrestle. He actually wrestled a couple of our guys at some at a couple of the freestyle tournaments and stuff. Oh wow! So yeah, he he's good to have around. He's he's a fun loving guy. So it keeps everybody you know on those days where you're just like oh another day in the mat room. He he comes in, with a smile on his face, you know, while Tion's training. Tion's been training for a while, so. We got him back this week a little bit, so. What about Coach Lackey? Coach Lackey, I, I actually work with Coach Lackey a lot. Me and uh, Seth Greasy, our 57 pounder, we work with him a lot, you know. He, Lackey knows his stuff, man. It's pretty intense coaching, yeah. I can tell you that much. Yeah, and uh, you know, even when you're drilling, he's not that intense with you. Like, he, he helps you a lot. Like, he's so, he just knows, he knows so much. And then Coach Walder, he just, that guy, you know, you could be having the worst day, and he could be having the worst day, but some, I don't know, in the room, like, it changes. Like, he, he changes everybody. Like, you know, you feel like, yeah, everybody has those days where you're just like, man, I'd rather be at home, I'd rather, I'm starving, I don't feel good, I haven't drank today, and you know, Coach Waller, you may not be your best in the practice, but he makes a practice where you can you can push yourself and you know it makes you more confident like when you get through those days and you worked hard those on those days like the guy makes you 
makes you work hard no matter how you feel. And then when it comes to matches, you know, it's like, man, I feel a lot better than I did yesterday, so this will be easier. And that's just, he just keeps you positive as much as you can, but he'll yell at you if you ever slow down or ever slack off, that's for sure. All right. Have you got anything else for me, Brock? No. Um, you know, Lock Havens, I mean, we're, we're turning some heads, you know, getting everybody back into it. You know, everybody's in the area is supporting it a lot. I think anybody can wrestle here. Coach is real good with everybody. All right, man. Thanks for the time. We'll be catching up with you probably another couple weeks. Yep.